Europe. Yo, what up, man? Jackson1616. This is not a sex story. Several people sent me this video yesterday of Brett Gray. Uh, I'm sure y'all probably heard of him. Um, I'm not super familiar, but he has a show on Netflix called uh, On My Block or whatever. Now, I'm going to definitely have to watch this shit now to get familiar with like some of the work that he does. But shout out to Brett Gray because um, obviously or apparently his shit is going this shit is going viral or whatever. I watched it over and over and over, like on a loop, because I, I wanted to I wanted to really truly like listen to it and try to understand and try to grasp exactly uh you know what he was saying or what the what his issue actually was. It sounds like he's talking from the perspective of a woman who's tired of dating niggas who 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 don't court her the way that they like to be courted that's what it sound like to me talking is whack it's not a real thing at least for me so here's another thing if you want to talk to me it's not real we know what we're doing or we don't now if i meet you and i like you and we'd have been texting every day good morning sweetie good night how was your day today whatever after about four or five days of that, I need to see you. Talking is whack. It we go out. We have dinner. We see if we can last with each other alone. By the end of that first date, we will both know. See, I just don't... You... I don't got to go out with you to, to find that out, though. I think that's, I think, like, alone, like, and that's the, that's the contradictory part. You don't got to go out to dinner to know that shit. I, I can tell that shit in a phone call. One. I've been, I've been DMing, I, I've been DMing and texting people, and it seemed cool, and then we had one conversation on the phone, I'm like, nah, I can't, I, I can't do this. I can't do it. Why well, I got to go out? For what? For what? Yeah, yeah, we text. That, nah, that's for kids. That's because we don't have the money or the assets or the wherewithal to do stuff. That's totally not true. When I was a kid, I had, I had money to fucking to go out. I quickly learned in this whole fucking uh, dating shit that sometimes it's a, it's a waste to fucking go out. Sometimes you can get to know somebody without having to go out. Sometimes people try to withhold who they really are so that they can actually get a chance to go out and do fun shit on your fucking dime. Maybe niggas are just maybe niggas have smartened up. Maybe some niggas are cheap. Yes. Right? Maybe some niggas just want to get you to the crib and smash. Yes. Right? Maybe some niggas don't even really like you for real. They just want they just want they just want the buns. Yes. I'm not saying that that's not a thing. But maybe some niggas and smarten the fuck up and said, you know what? Maybe if I get a little better uh, conversation, and and I can and I can get her talking and see what she's about, or or see what she's lacking up here, maybe I can save a few dollars because this bitch is fucking stupid and 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 she's not funny and she's not entertaining and she does hasn't worked on anything that has to do with her personality. She's all. She's she's just a fucking face and an ass and that's it. And if that's all that you are, we don't text. That's for kids. That's because we don't have the money or the assets or the wherewithal to do stuff. Niggas got the wherewithal. Niggas got the wherewithal, man. Why is it never a thought that maybe he just don't like you? Maybe you just not it. Why is that never an option for people? Not even just for women, for people. Why? Why don't we ever think that? Damn, maybe he ain't want to go. Maybe he ain't want to take me out because maybe he just don't like me enough to take me out. It's the same thing when 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 a woman don't fuck you, right? You don't. You don't. You don't. You can't. If a woman don't fuck you, you can't say she child. You can't say, oh, you you childish. You don't. You don't be wanting to have sex and shit. You, that's whack. That's trash. You stupid. Maybe she don't want to fuck you. Period. That's it. 
And that's and that's all the validity that is needed in that situation. I don't want to fuck you. No other reasons. That's it. Maybe niggas just don't want to do that. For whatever his criteria is, maybe you don't fit that. Maybe you are a Netflix and chill bitch. Maybe that's what you are. To him. But you don't even ever, you don't even that's that's not even a possibility. That's not even a possibility. And yet that's crazy to me. That's crazy to me because people will have these crazy not even I don't even want to call them crazy, but people will have their own standards, right? For other people. And if other people don't meet their standards, then it's like fuck fuck them. I'm not fucking with them. But when the tables are turned, you don't that's not even an option in your in your mind? You don't even think that maybe you just don't meet the standards of another person? Because you're you? Come on, man. I'll, I'm sitting here. I'll, t- I'll tell you for a fact right now. It's some bitches that I haven't fucked because I'm just not the nigga that they want to fuck. That's it. It's nothing else to be said. Sometimes a nigga's not taking you out and treating you how you want to be treated and courting you how you want to be courted because maybe you just don't meet that nigga's standards. And that's it. But because you don't meet his standards, you want to call him stupid, him childish? You want to call him a kid because all he want to do is text you? Maybe your conversation is, is only text worthy. Maybe your voice is trash. Maybe you're maybe you're grammatically impaired. Maybe you say brought when you mean you bought something. Maybe you say you bought something when you really brought it. Maybe you use want when you're supposed to be using won't. Maybe you use won't when you're supposed to be using won't. I don't want I don't want to talk to nobody who's doing that dumb shit. If you doing that, if you text me and you say, yeah, I brought a pair of sneakers, I don't want to talk to you on the phone. We don't have nothing to talk about. I'm smarter than you. Peer, I, like, we not going, I'm not buying you no fucking salmon, nigga. Because you say, you. because when you order it, you're going to say, you're going to pronounce the L. Like, I just, that shit... I don't understand that shit, man. Sometimes you don't fall in the category that you think that you fall in. And it's it's nobody's immune to it. Nobody. Nobody is everybody's type. And if you think that you are, then you that's on you you stupid. Talking ain't right. Talking is necessary. That part is that part is actually ne- the the act of 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 speaking to someone in a reciprocal fashion. That part is definitely necessary. And again, he could have just been talking about the term that he don't like. And I can I can fuck with that. I can understand that because it is a it is a clear confusion between uh, what talking is and and what dating is. But that's confusing too because. If people say that, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we dating. Does that mean that we're dating exclusively? We're dating? Or does that just mean that we've actually gone out on at least one date? Because, like, niggas will... People will look at you crazy. Niggas, when I say niggas, I mean men and women. Like, niggas will look at you crazy if you be like, yeah, 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 me and us, so-and-so, we dating. But y'all only went out on one date. But technically, it is dating because y'all went out on a date. But somebody else could interpret that. Like, nigga, we not dating. I mean, we went out a couple times, but we not dating. You know what I mean? So I, that's why I'm confused because I don't know if it's just like a confusion of, uh, um, I don't know if it's just like a misconception or misunderstanding of like the words that are being used or if it's just like the actual act of what we understand to be as talking. Is that the part that that he and several thousand you know what I'm saying? People who were agreeing with what he was saying. Is that the issue? Because I just think that there is. There's a preliminary uh, period. Or, uh, there are prerequisites that you. 
that yes, nigga, people, ha- men and women alike, you have to fucking get past these certain checkpoints in order to like we acting like everybody thinks that their time is more valuable than other people's time. And that's the part that I can't get with, man. Your time is just as valuable as mine and vice versa. Right? And what I mean by that is I'm not about to jump out the window and just because we done sent a couple of texts and sent a couple of DMs that I'm going to just automatically just ask you out to dinner. We not doing that no more, cuz. Niggas not doing that. Niggas not doing that no more. And it, I'm not saying, no, nigga, I'm I'm not doing that no more, dog. Cause I done been on too many trash ass fucking dates, trying to trying to do that and court people the right way and treat them nice and treat them. No, man, that shit don't work, man. You don't got it. You don't even. And it's not even that you don't got it. It's not even like doing the bare minimum. It's just like learning, like dog. You just gotta learn how to how to converse. And if you say conversate, we not going to dinner. Like, <laughs> I'm not fine. It's my fault. If we get to the dinner and that's the first time I hear you say conversate. That's my, that's on me now. And I'm not doing that, cuz. We not doing that. No. We not do I need to before we go on the date, I need to know that you know how to pronounce everything on the fucking menu. So yeah, it's a time before it's a t- this is how I would do it, right? 